Yo, what's good, y'all? We back once again with another video on a Tuesday. So we back yet again. Y'all see the title. We're going to be discussing Imani Bates and basically how it's been going in his first year at Memphis. And whether or not, in our opinion, if he made the right decision leaving high school a year early. Reason why we're bringing this up? Well, there's a lot of reasons why. One of them being that there was a report not too long ago, probably as recent as like probably two days ago, to be honest, that said Imani Bates is not being viewed as a prospect that you can build a team around anymore, according to NBA scouts, they say. And when you really think about it, that's crazy. That's a crazy take right there from these NBA scouts or rumor or whatever to really say that he is not a guy you can build a team around yet. It's still way too early. I mean, just think back to months ago before he got on the Memphis team. He had so much hype, you know, obviously coming in with a co-star and Jalen Duran, but he was the main attraction of the team, of this Memphis team going into the season. He was on the Sports Illustrated magazine cover in high school, just like LeBron was. You know, he was Gatorade player of the year. He was everything when it came to high school basketball. He was the main guy people talked about as the next phenom. People said Imani Bates is the next Kevin Durant. Some people said he was a phenom, but now NBA scouts don't see him as a franchise player or prospect, a potential franchise prospect anymore. I just don't really know. I don't know whether or not to believe that, to be honest, but if it's true, I think it's kind of dumb. Reason why, you know, there's a lot of reasons, but one of them being he went to college a year early. I think him going to college a year early plays a factor in that. He's had to adjust playing under a new system under Penny Hardaway this season at Memphis compared to his role in high school where he was the main go-to guy. Imani Bates has also had to adjust to things like physicality, you know, flow of the game in college. It's much slower. Half-court game in, in college. In general, just a talent increase though in the collegiate level, where in Memphis, he's not the best player on the floor a lot of nights. Even though he's the prospect all of us want to see, you know, he's the guy we want to see develop and what can he be in the NBA, that sort of thing. The scouting is everywhere for him. We all want to see it. You know, he's not the best player, though, a lot of the time. And Imani Bates, before his recent return versus Cincinnati on Sunday, he, which he probably played his best all-around game, he was out. He was out for like three games and Memphis won. But before that injury, he was pretty much struggling. Even though he did have moments where you saw the potential, Imani Bates, as of right now, is currently averaging 11 points per game on 38% shooting. But not only is that a problem, I think another problem right now is his lack of size. Even though he's a six foot nine tall player, he's got shorter arms for a six foot nine player. He's still only 17 though. You know, there's a difference in his body compared to a guy who might be 21 years old and playing college basketball. It's not the same yet. He's not fully grown. He's not a man yet. He's not the only one struggling, though, as the team is struggling as well. Doesn't help his case to look good, even though Memphis has, of recent, has been winning. When the team's bad, the best players are going to get criticized, and Imani Bates, obviously, is one of them. But Imani Bates, according to scouts, they say, in a Bleacher Report article that I read, said he makes a lot of mistakes on the floor. And the team looks better when he's off the floor at times compared to on the floor. They basically use plus minus for that stat. But one thing I feel like, and I read this at the bottom of the article, is it said, you know, they brought up Scoot Henderson, who's 17 years old and he's an NBA prospect in the same class. And he's playing in the G League Ignite team right now. And he's playing better than Imani Bates is, who's, a, who's facing college athletes. He's averaging 17 points per game. School Henderson and the G League in night team. So I get why people are criticizing Imani Bates, but at the same time, let's be patient, you know? I know this is gonna make him look bad in that situation when you compare the two, but let's be patient. In my opinion, it's still way too early to determine if Imani Bates is a guy you can build around. I still think the potential's there. He's only 17 years old, he's playing up in competition, he's not playing down, he's not playing the same age, he's playing up. Give him some time. You see the raw skills definitely there when you see him play. The potential is there. If he can build to continue off his return game on Sunday against Cincinnati, we won't be having the same discussion. You know, if he continues to play like this for the rest of this season and 
next season in the second year of college or if he goes and leaves and goes to the G League or something, if he continues to improve, we won't be having these talks. Imani Bates is, you know, it takes time. A perfect guy for him to look at is Brandon Ingram, not Kevin Durant. Look at Brandon Ingram. Skinny as hell. That man was, well, he's still skinny as hell. But when he was in college, he was like a stick. And now look at him. You know, it, it took a couple years. Year one in the NBA was tough. Year two was tough. Started getting a little bit better. When LeBron first got there, he started getting better. Then when he got to New Orleans, became that guy. You know, it takes time with certain players. Not every guy is special. Not every guy is special in the fact that they can come into the NBA day one and become a star. Not everybody's Kevin Durant. Not everybody's LeBron James, Luka, Zion. You get the point. Not everybody is like that. It takes time. So in my opinion, just give Imani Bates some time to play. Give him time to develop. You know, he might not be a year one star in the NBA. It might take him until year four, year five, year three. You know, it might take him years to finally become the guy that we think he can be. But the potential is definitely there. And I'm leaning on the side of giving him time and seeing what he can become because we see his game. We've been watching it for a minute now, and we all see the man can play. Anyways, that's going to do it. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Also, follow me on Twitter and Instagram. Link will be down in the description below. This has been the checkup where we talk hoops and hoops only. And I'll see y'all in the next video tomorrow. Peace.